Hello. Hola. <laughs> How you guys doing today? I hope all is well. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Uh, I'm here in Maryland. Um, had a full week this week. Earlier this week, we went to uh, D.C. I think that was Monday. And then uh, the next day, we had to go to Arlington, Virginia. So uh, my daughter and I, we've had a busy, busy week. Um, got a couple of inboxes on my Facebook page from Minnesota uh, asking about my ventures with real estate um, and some emails as well. Those of you guys who don't have my email, it's simply open conversations at gmail.com simply open conversations at gmail.com <laughs> so the subject today is going to be about um, my ventures with real estate now I can only tell you about my ventures this is not any advice or anything like that you have to kind of enter that um, game at your own risk or whatever real, real estate is a um, a different type of um, uh, beautiful, beautiful monster, but you gotta, you know, you gotta do your research, know what you're doing. But I love it. It's just an extension of um, who I am. I love beauty. I love anything beautiful. A hair. Um, anybody that knows me, I, it, it, to me, the best way to describe it was having an adventure and an extension from uh, the hair game. Uh, having old houses and just turning them into something beautiful and giving somebody an opportunity to um to to purchase a home but um on back up a little bit my first property was on pen 2926 pen avenue north minneapolis that was my first property and um i didn't have a desire to purchase a home my first property was a duplex and the reason i purchased that duplex is because i always wanted um my family to have a place to stay at the time that I purchased a duplex, I only had one child. I could have moved into a two-bedroom, but um, no, that's it. That's, that's not my um, my uh, spirit or whatever. I wanted to make sure that my immediate family and uh, their friends and family had a place to stay. And that was my um, heart and my intentions at that time. And I most definitely wanted my mom close to me. So when I purchased the duplex, um, I put my mom downstairs and I put myself upstairs. And that being because my mom would have to go up and down those stairs, uh, and I took the upstairs. But that was my first property on Penn, and um, I just basically um, had a desire to do that because of my experiences in the PJs. Uh, I wanted a piece of America. I didn't. I didn't. I had a long experience in the PJs. I lived in the PJs in um, Minnesota as well as Texas. And then when we moved back to Minnesota, we lived back in the PJs on the same row, <laughs> right five, four eight doors down from each other. And I knew, I kept telling myself, when I get older, I'm buying something. I always wanted to own uh, property. I always wanted to own property. So yeah, Penn was my first property and I, I had nothing but um, just good, happy times there. We threw some ex ex exciting, good parties. Shout out to um, Tracy who gave me a birthday party there, and it was awesome. I mean, that place was it was it had to be a uh, hundred plus people that came. He had orchestrated a birthday party for me, so shout out to him. But we just had good times on um, Penn. So many people we met. So many good times, and then I. Um, got into real estate, took it to the next level. I actually got my real estate license and um, st started purchasing property as well as giving other people an opportunity to purchase property. Um, I became the number one seller at my company uh, in a short period of time because uh, for one thing, I just like to give everything 200%, whether it's hair, real estate, picking my nose, <laughs> I gotta give it 100% plus um, digging in my ear, that's just who I am. So, but, um, I can't give anybody any advice. I can only, only tell you about, uh, my ventures with it. Uh, real estate is a, um, whole different beast from beauty. You got to do your research. You got to know what you're doing and you got to have a passion for it and, uh, keep you some good lawyers, um, on staff because, um, everybody wants somebody to blame when something don't, don't go right. Uh, and, and, most of the time, it's the realtor. Uh, would I ever be a realtor again? No. 
I would I would do investments, but I wouldn't be a realtor. It's just just um been there, done that, been there, done that. Nothing bad to say about it. Just I've already done that, been there, done that. Um, just like with the hair supply, would I ever do that again? No, I've been there, done that. Did I enjoy it? Absolutely. Absolutely. So, um, what I can say is I got into real estate because I lived in the PJs for so long. I said, no, when I'm old enough to change my situation, that's what I'm going to do. So you got to stay, um, hungry. I mean, it got to be a, a hunger there. And that's, that's what my hunger was, but it was bigger than me. It was never, ever, ever, ever about me. And I feel like that's, um, uh, uh ups on overachiever success. It's not about them. And then and the prime example is, uh, to my girl, April, uh, you can relate to this as well as, uh, myself. It was never about me, all the property I did in the times that I worked for 24 hours straight and didn't stop. I, I stood on my feet 24 hours because it was about my mom, my little sister, my brother. I had to make sure that they were okay. And that was my drive and my desire. That's how I could work for 24 hours. And that's why I, um, purchased my first property at uh, 26 years old because I knew, and, and by then I was a mom as well. I had a two year old. I purchased my first property in, um, uh, 1998. My daughter was two. So yeah, I was 26 and that's what, I, that was my motivation to make sure that my baby had a place to play and to grow up and, uh, something that I could pass down to her or that was going to put her, uh, a step above what I had to go through. So that was my motivation. If it's, if it's about you, you're only going to be able to go so far, but that was my drive, my family, my mother, my sister, my little sister and my little brother, my daughter, um, they gave me the strength to switch lanes from the beauty business uh, to, to real estate because I wanted more for them. I wanted more for my daughter. I wanted to give my mom something. I wanted to show her that I appreciated all the sacrifices that she made. And I also wanted to make sure that my sister and brother had a better uh, life. We moved a lot when we were little. I mean, a lot. Um, and um, I mean, when we stayed in the projects, we stayed there uh, quite a long time that was the longest we ever stayed places but when it came time for us to move they tore down one of our our PJs so we had to um move and once we moved out of there the full market rent almost killed my mom so we moved a lot but um just stay motivated uh so far is um telling you really how to get into it I can only speak on my uh experience with it Research, 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 learn, 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 learn. There is there is not enough information um, in the world. You just got to keep learning with real estate. I have a real estate dictionary for words that I couldn't, uh, a real estate dictionary. I have real estate um, books from all uh, walks of it, investments, uh, a realist, realtor, if you want to be a realtor, if you want to invest. I have um, different test books, and the reason why I buy text test books from different states is to see their testing format and to learn their laws for that particular state. I've done that in North Carolina. I've done that in Virginia. I've done that in PA. Um, I've done that in Maryland. I've done that in Minnesota and I've done that in Georgia. I've, I've gotten all of their textbooks. I've read them from the front to the back numerous of times, uh, all of them. So research, 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 real estate is, an awesome thing to get into, uh, first of all, something to leave to your children, okay? So they don't have to fight the hustle and bustle of um, starting from ground zero. Uh, it's, it's just a good opportunity to leave your children something. What a, what a blessing to have a home just to pass down to your children. And, and, and maybe at the time when you're, you're passing along uh, from here, your property will be paid for and they'll, they'll get to just pay the taxes. All you do is pay the taxes. It's just so many beautiful, um, privileges of owning property. And, and, and for one thing, I know in the state of Maryland, you can do the tax liens. If you bid online for those, that's something that you really got to do your due diligence on though. You have to have to um, really do your research on that. That's not for somebody who who's not experienced or who wants to play around with that. That's some serious business. But I bought that up because you need to own a piece of America. That's how I feel about it. 
because you can go online from Saudi Arabia and bid on those properties and never leave your living room from Australia and own a property in the United States. Now, you can't do that in other countries. I don't think that you can buy property. Um, I'm not sure what, what country it is, but it's a few countries that you're not even allowed to buy property in their country. But anyone can go online and buy tax liens in the state of Maryland, whether you live in China, whether you live in Europe, it doesn't matter. You can go online and you can purchase those properties and you bid on them online in the comfort of your home, comfort of your living room, and not even be in America. So if you're an American and you don't own any properties, you need to think about that. You need to think about that. Now, I'm going to go into uh, what I see that prevents us from purchasing property. Um, addictions. Addictions. See, I was able to do those things at such a young age, 26, because I don't like being controlled about any, by anything. I don't like to be controlled by food, by clothes, by anything. I'm a, I'm real big on fasting. I, you know, all of this is, is a connection. I know you're like, what is, no, this has a lot to do with everything. I fast. If I feel like I'm getting too addicted to something, I fast. And I, I sometimes I fast from my cell phone. I, I just don't like to be addicted to anything. And the reason why it keeps us from purchasing property and moving on and just being a renter all the time and paying for somebody else's vacation. See, when you're renting all the time, you're paying for somebody else to go on vacation because you're paying for the building up equity in their home. Now, home ownership and owning property is not for everyone. You know, you might be uh, older and you might not want the responsibility of property, uh, property but when you're young, it's, it's, it's a good, it's a good um, stepping stone for you and a good income. Uh, we understand if you're older and you want to sell everything off and liquidate it and use that for your retirement money, that's a good, that's what I'm saying about property. It's, it's, it's that amazing. But uh, addictions, that's why we... Um, we can't purchase property the way we want to because we're addicted, addicted to so many things. I've met young ladies who've come to me about real estate and they their 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 main focus is that they own over a hundred pairs of shoes. Nobody cares. <laughs> Nobody cares how many items go on your funky feet. Nobody cares. You know, that's ridiculous. You you, you what are you gonna do with a hundred pairs of shoes? Okay, and you're not a celebrity. Okay, now if you're you, if you're if you have six figures and you want to own a pair of shoes, cool. But I'm talking about the average person like myself, just from you know from the PJs or whatever. Um, and I wanted to step into a different zone of life and see how it is to actually be able to eat what you want and go where you want. From you know, uh, I came from a time when we stood in line for for cheese and butter, and and not a laughing matter. I explained this to my daughter one time. I felt like she wasn't. Um, you know, being grateful and everything. And I said, look, you know, I said, me and your dad used to stand in line for cheese. And she said, well, mom, why, why would you guys stand in line for cheese and butter? I said, girl, because we was hungry. She couldn't even comprehend that. <laughs> she was like, why would you stand in line? She couldn't even comprehend. So let's try to like break through that. And I'm not talking about giving our children a bunch of gym shoes and a bunch of clothes because that has no value. Once you've put your body in those items, they have no more value. You know what I mean? Real estate has value. I've purchased property that were built in the 1800s because it still has value. So let's let's try to cut back on some of our, our, our the things that are controlling us, material items, so we can start saving some of that money to build a, the future for our children uh, and our children's tri children, there's nothing more beautiful than a legacy. I love my grandchildren, and I haven't even seen them yet. I have no idea what they look like. Uh, they're not walking around yet. They're still in my daughter's womb, but I'm building a legacy for them now. Now, so they can say that, that my grandma uh, left me this home, or my grandma uh, uh, purchased this home and it cannot be taken out of the family because you can write up documents to say this piece of property uh, at such and such, such and such Main Street could never be out of my bloodline. It always has to stay 
You can stay in this house and keep this house. It's paid in full as long as it's in the family. So all of that um, is just beautiful. It's beautiful. So we're going to continue our conversation on real estate. This is just part one. Uh, again, email me if you have any questions. Uh, I just got a little birdie in my ear to tell me I have to go. I got to go check on some business and do some things. But, um, yes, we're going to get into some of the um, – second parts of real estate, but I put this out because I want you to get your questions, more of your questions together and just email me at uh, simplyopenconversations at gmail.com if you have any questions and this will just be from my point of view. It won't be any, any advice. I don't give out advice for real estate. I just tell you uh, from my point of view. So with that being said, I, I'm wishing you guys the very, very best in life. I want for you what I want for myself, just happiness, bliss, uh, health, good health, your cup overflowing, just excited to see other people doing well and prospering and living their dreams and their, their visions and, and being prepared for opportunities when they present themselves. So that's what makes me happy to see other people shine. Uh, with that being said, I love each and every one of you. Continue the emails. I'll get to you guys uh, really, really quick. I, I, I It's not a bother. I really enjoy uh, putting the stuff out there. And I'm going to go ahead and do two as I get the questions that you guys have for me to answer. And then I'll put the second part of this video out. Love you. Have a good day.